Hello everyone. In this class, I want to explain about Darlington Emmett of a lawyer. In the last video, I explained you about the Darlington pair, which has more current gain and which has high power handling capability. Now this is Darlington emitter follow a circuit which is having high input impedance. We know the CC amplifier, common collector amplifier is having high input impedance. But this circuit is having input impedance greater than the common collector amplifier input impedance. We know the high input impedance circuits are used for impedance matching and also for noise reduction. So now I'll explain how this Darlington emitter follow a circuit is giving more input impedance than common collector amplifier. Okay, then say this Darlington because it has two transistors of a similar type and this is emitter follower. Emitter follower is nothing but CC common collector configuration. Now, if you see these two transistors, the two transistors are in a common collector configuration. If you observe, what is this? This is B1, E1, C1 and this is B2, E2, C2. So, if you observe this, at base we are giving input and collector is AC grounded, means it has no resistor. When going for AC analysis, VCC becomes zero. Then collector is grounded. The emitter of the first stage is connected to the second stage input terminal. So emitter E1 is the output of first stage. Okay, so base is input, collector is grounded and emitter is output. So this configuration is common collector configuration. In the same way, yes, here is B2 as input terminal, collector is grounded, A2 is output terminal. So this is also common collector amplifier. So totally your Darlington emitter follow your circuit is nothing but a CC CC amplifier. If you observe the circuit, the second stage emitter resistance RE2, which is nothing but the load resistance of the second stage is a finite value. But here RE1, the first stage emitter resistance is infinite. Okay, remember these two points. I'll explain later. So now to analyze this Darlington emitter follower, what is our first step? The first step is how to draw AC equivalent circuit. Okay, so how to draw AC equivalent circuit? We have to follow two things. One is you have to make VCC is equal to zero. And the second point is all the capacitors are short circuited. So now by following these two, I am drawing the AC equivalent circuit of this. See VCC is 0. We don't have any capacitors. Okay. So that is the reason no need to go for the second point. So if VCC is 0. This collector is grounded. This is the ground point. So instead of making C1 ground here, just you take C1 to this ground and also C2 to this ground. So totally what is a circuit? Yes, the circuit is. Yes, C1, yes, I am taking one cap here and I am connecting it to the ground. Let it be ground and then C2 also. This is Vs, so this is Rs, Q1, Q2. And here across this RE2, we are collecting V0. Okay, so this is your AC equivalent circuit. Now, I will mention those resistances. What is this RI1? And uh, before that, I will mention the terminals. B1, C1, E1, B2, C2, E2. Okay, so exactly at B1 you have Ri1, exactly at B2 you have Ri2. So next at E1 
R01 and at E2 you have to go for R02. Exactly at E2 you have R02. But as you have RE2 at output uh, terminals you will get R02 dash. That is R02 in parallel with RE2. So now what is the next step? The next step in the analysis part is you have to go for approximate H parameter model. And the previous classes of multi-stage amplifiers like CECE, CECB, CECC, you know the procedure, you have to draw the AC equivalent circuit, then uh, approximate H parameter model. Yes, this is approximate model of C. I am speaking about approximate model of C. What is approximate model of C? Say this, uh, S, B, B, C, E. Between base and emitter, you have HI. Between collector and emitter, HFEIB. Okay. This is HI and this is HFEIB. We know it very well. And this is the current IB and this is current IC. Emitter is grounded. So, how, how you obtain this approximate model of C? Yes, now I will move to the exact model. Move to the exact model. So, what is exact model? The exact model is actually this is exact model. Here, like that, we are analyzing CE amplifier. So, at collector, you are going to get one load resistance RL. Fine. I already explained how to draw the approximate model from exact model. This is another way of explaining the same concept approximate model from exact model. So now see. So when this RL, RL is less than 1 by HOE. Okay. HOE. What is HOE? Output admittance. Output admittance value is very, very less. Okay. So, when the output admittance is very less, very high. Okay. So, when this is very high and this is very less compared to this 1 by HOE, what is the parallel combination? This is high and this is low. Parallel combination of high value of resistance and low value of resistance, the result is low. Means, it will be with only RL. At that time, 1 by HOE is open. Just simply open it. You don't have this. So, in the output circuit, what you are seeing only? The load resistance RL and this current source HFEIB. That is this part. Okay. This load, you can connect the load here. So, in that way, you got this portion only. At, at that time only, your IC becomes HFEIB. Otherwise, IC becomes HFEIB plus voltage across this 1 by HOE is nothing but VCE. This is VCE. Okay. So, when 1 by HOE is very high and if you take RL that is very less than 1 by HOE, the parallel combination gives you only RL. So, you can open this. Means as it is high, you can open this 1 by HOE. Okay, so at that time your IC becomes only HFEIB. Okay, then if you say this uh, HREVC, what is HREVC? HRE is the reverse voltage gain and VC is the output voltage. So it is HRE into what is VC? This is minus IC. As this is IC, this is a minus IC. VC is nothing but minus IC into RL. HRE into what is IC? From this IC is HFEIB. So, minus HFEIB into R. We know IB is in microampias. Okay. IB is in microampias. Voltage gain of the CE amplifier is high. So, reverse voltage gain of the CE amplifier is less. 
okay already we know rl is less than this 1 by h y means rl is also low so totally this portion is low this total part is low hence you can neglect this uh, hre vc neglecting voltage source means is nothing but making it short so totally in the input circuit what you are having you are having only hie between base and emitter okay so totally output circuit consists of only hfeip between collector and emitter and input circuit consists of only hie between base and emitter okay so with this concept we are going to analyze this darlington emitter follow a circuit okay means you it has two stages first stage and second stage we know in general the analysis start with the second stage in this darlington emitter follower what you have to do is you have to check whether the load resistance of this q2 is lesser than 1 by hoe or not if it is less then you have to go for approximate analysis otherwise you have to go for exact analysis same way uh, the load resistance of the first stage is also checked if it is less than 1 by hoe then go for approximate model otherwise you have to go for exact model okay so now we'll start analyzing the darlington emitter follower circuit now we'll move to the analysis of second stage see the circuit okay i already told you in this circuit re2 is finite and re1 is infinite okay what about the re2 re2 is nothing but load rl of the second stage okay so re2 is finite means re2 is low okay it is not that much high like 1 by hoe hoe value typical value is uh, uh, it is 25 micro ampere per volt then if you see 1 by hoe 1 40 kilo so when my ho is like that then what about our re2 it may be around 2 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm or 3 kilo ohm so obviously the parallel combination like this the parallel combination of 1 by ho and rl becomes rl okay so therefore as re2 is less than 1 by ho yes we can go for approximate analysis we know the two stages are common collector amplifiers now we will draw the common collector amplifier approximate h parameter model okay base and what is the output output is emitter sorry this is b2 output is e2 and here is your c2 okay yes now between base and emitter we have hi see the circuit between base and emitter we have hi so this is hi between collector and emitter hfeib so this is collector and this is emitter so hfeib okay this is ib2 so write it as ib2 okay and this c2 is grounded so i'll draw like this and this is ia2 and from this collector grounded collector you can represent this ic2 okay so now for this stage there is a load resistance re2 okay there is a load resistance re2 like this okay so now i'll draw i'll draw re2 like this this is re2 voltage across re2 is nothing but your v0 okay and another important point is this is ia2 so what is this this current minus ia2 you can consider it as output current so now we'll move to the analysis part Yes, represent the input impedance R I two, and at T two you have R not two, and after R E two you have R not two dash. Okay, so now we'll analyze the circuit. This is common collector. 
So, what is AI2 for the common collector? In the introduction class of multi stage amplifier, I given you table. From that table, you write AI2 for CC, that is 1 plus HR2. Okay, then what is RL2 here? Is nothing but RE or RE2. Then what is RI2? HIE plus 1 plus HFE into RE. Okay, this is RE2 or as you have no RE1 in the circuit, let it be RE. Okay, then yes, you have AI2, RI2, RL2. As you have AI2, RL2, RI2, you can go for next AV2. AV2 is equal to AI2 into RL2 by RL2. So, what is AI2? 1 plus HRP. What is RL2? RE divided by HIE plus 1 plus HRP into RE. Yes. And the denominator, if you see, it is HIE plus 1 plus HRP into RE. We know the HRP is from 50 to 500. So, 50, even if you take 50, this is 51 into RE. Suppose if R E is either 2K or 3K, 51 into 2K is 102K. And the typical value of HI is only 1.1K. So, 1.1K is very less compared to 102K. So, you can neglect HI. So, you can remove this HI. So, at that time, it will be with 1 plus HFE RE divided by 1 plus HFE RE is 1. Okay. Yes, we know already that the common collector amplifier voltage gain is 1. It has more current gain, but the voltage gain is 1. Okay. So, now we left with, what is the left thing? That is R02. We know R02 is RS2 plus HIE by 1 plus HRP. What is RS2? If you see the original circuit, see the original circuit, this is the original circuit. You have RS only for the first stage. You don't have RS for the second stage, external RS. Then the impedance, which is the input of the second stage becomes RS. So, what is here? Okay, before B2 and after even, what is the input impedance here? It is nothing but R01. Therefore, therefore, yes, your RS2 is nothing but R01. Okay. Then after that you have R02 dash that is R02 in parallel with R1. Okay. So this is the analysis of second stage. Okay. I will continue the analysis of first stage and the comparison between the single CC and uh, the Starlington emitter follow here in the next part of the video. Okay. Thank you very much.